For this exercise, browse to your Chapter 13 folder and open the file Chapter 1301 Sprinklers. Before we start laying out any sprinklers in this view, let's take a look at the sprinkler layout that we've got here, Sprinklers Level 2. Scroll into the bottom left hand corner of the drawing and let's have a look at the two sprinklers that have already been placed. They look different, but that's no guarantee that they are going to be different. I just know that they are. Selecting the top filled one and looking at the properties, we can see that this sprinkler is a hosted sprinkler. It's a 15mm pendant and it's hosted to a compound ceiling with its elevation at 2400 above the floor level. Selecting the other sprinkler, this is an upright sprinkler head. Its host is level 2 with an offset of 2400. So this comes down to choices. Do you want a hosted family or a level hosted family? Of course, sometimes the choices are made for you. In an area, say, where you don't have a ceiling, then you can't have a ceiling hosted sprinkler head. For this exercise, however, we're going to go with the hosted pendants. And to do that, we need to open the ceiling layout. So from your project browser, go to the mechanical coordination ceiling plan level two and double click to open. Here we can see those two sprinklers. Let's look at their creation methods from the systems tab. Under plumbing and piping panel, you'll find sprinkler. Looking back at properties, we can see under the type selector, the different types of sprinklers that we have available in our project. Or we could load a family. Here I'm just going to go with the sprinkler pendant hosted and the 15mm pendant. For some bizarre reason, Revit defaults to placing this on a vertical face. And it will do this every time I go to place a pendant. But I do want to place this on a face. So click place on face. And as we hover over the ceiling, you can see that the ceiling is being highlighted. You can just about see the edges of the ceiling. As I click to place the sprinkler heads, I'm not actually placing them accurately. There's a couple of ways to tidy these up. Let's have a look at them. Scrolling in, I can see the sprinkler heads. From the Modify tab, click on Align and select one of the ceiling grids. Hovering over one of the sprinklers, you can almost see that I'm picking up the center line of the sprinkler. Align the sprinkler heads so that they align with the ceiling. Do that in both directions. What we can do from here is move the three sprinkler heads. Select the sprinkler heads and we'll move them 300 millimeters. We can repeat the move command and move them 300 millimeters again. That's about as hard as it gets. Now that's complete. I want to create my sprinkler layout for the rest of that space. And I could use the multiple copy option again. This time, however, I'm going to use the array command. Using the selection window, select the three sprinkler heads. You can check this by clicking on filter just to make sure that we've got three sprinklers selected. Click on OK. And then use the array option. For this type of array, I want to make sure that from the options bar, we're using the linear array option. The group and associate is ticked on. And I'm going to just use two in my array. You can see that I've clicked just somewhere in my drawing area. It doesn't really matter where I click, as long as my next click is going to be a multiple of 600 for the ceiling tiles. I can do this quite simply by typing in the dimension and pressing enter. Revit now asks me, do I want to change this number two? Let's change this to four and press enter. 
because I maintained the associativity between the array groups, I can carry on manipulating this array group. Let's try that by moving this second row, two tiles. Now Revit's given me a warning message. It says an instance of an origin does not lie on the host face, and the instance will lose association to that host. What that means is that this last row of sprinkler heads, which is now conveniently outside the building, is not associated with the ceiling, as you'd expect. But what I can do with this is select the array and change the array number to 3. And we have my sprinkler layout. Keep on adjusting your layout until you're satisfied that it meets the design. So once again, I'll move this back 1200 and change my number back to 4. With this complete, it's now a good idea to break the associativity in this array group. Create a selection window and from the filter, Make sure that we've only got model groups selected. Click on OK and then click on Ungroup. We can see that with all of those sprinkler heads selected, they're still maintaining this relationship with the ceiling. And with that complete, that completes this exercise.